struggle for independence, Iraq's turbulent history. The Kingdom of Iraq, born from the ashes of British mandate, faced a challenging road to true sovereignty. In 1932, Iraq gained its independence, but a lingering agreement with the British military cast shadows over the newfound freedom. The 1930 British-Iraq Agreement granted the British Army extensive rights within Iraqi territory, including military bases and unrestricted movement. This accord also sparked discontent among the Iraqi people, particularly regarding British control over oil resources. Despite the public's unrest, King Faisal Braun, driven by the dream of independence, reluctantly accepted these terms. In stark contrast, his successor, King Ghazi, took a bold stance against British influence, closing numerous British bases in Iraq until 1937. Ghazi's nationalist fervor extended to international relations as he fostered ties with Nazi Germany. The untimely demise of King Ghazi in a suspicious traffic accident in 1939 shifted the dynamics. Four-year-old King Faisal II assumed the throne, with Prince Abdullah acting as regent. As World War II erupted, Iraq, bound by the British-Iraq Treaty, was expected to support the British cause. However, Prime Minister Nouri Said resisted declaring war on Germany, leading to his resignation. The reins of power passed to Rashid Ali Jalani, an anti-British figure with inclinations toward Germany. This shift in leadership set the stage for geopolitical maneuvers. While Jelani aimed for Axis alignment, Prince Abdullah leaned toward the Allies, particularly England. Amid these political shifts, tensions escalated. Italy's entry into the war triggered a crisis in the Iraqi economy, prompting Jelani's resignation in January 1941. Pro-British Talha al-Hashimi assumed the role, but Jelani, backed by Nazi sympathizers, plotted a coup. The Golden Square coup unfolded, resulting in Jelani's ascent to power and the establishment of the National Defense Government. Jelani opted to maintain the monarchy, appointing Sharif bin Raji as Faisal's regent. Pro-British figures were arrested. Diplomatic ties with Italy and Germany were affirmed. However, Churchill's stern warning to Jelani intensified the conflict. Economic sanctions crippled Iraq, and Jelani sought support from Germany. As tensions peaked, the British cancelled aid, setting the stage for a confrontation. In April 1941, British forces landed in Basra, clashing with Iraqi troops. Despite initial setbacks, British reinforcements arrived, forcing Iraqi retreats. Jelani sought help from Hitler, and German planes joined the conflict. The aerial battle ensued until May 17th, resulting in significant losses for both sides. On May 23rd, British forces reached Baghdad, prompting Gilani's resignation and exile. Prince Abdullah returned to establish a pro-British government. The British, despite gaining control, faced ongoing challenges in Iraq. Ultimately, their complete withdrawal in 1947 marked the end of a tumultuous chapter in Iraq's struggle for independence.